Chair Lee, Ranking Member Sewell, and members of the subcommittee. My name is Lynn Taylor. I am president of the Virginia Institute for Public Policy. And more importantly, for this hearing today, I am the chairman of the Virginia Fair Elections Coalition and the Election Integrity Network. Thank you for this opportunity to appear before you today to set the record straight on a topic about which the media and government agencies have been misleading the American people for the past two years. That is, that poll watchers in elections are somehow a problem for the election system and election officials. Let me be clear about one singularly important point. Citizen observers and poll watchers are a fundamental and vital part of the election process. And the involvement of citizens is the surest way to restore the confidence of the American people in the truth and honesty of our elections. State laws describe who appoints poll observers, what their roles are, what the observers can do or not do, and what they are allowed to observe. Poll watchers are an integral part of the election codes of virtually every state in the nation. But there has been a steady drumbeat of the media, the current administration, and partisan nonprofit organizations advancing the false narrative that citizen poll watchers are unnecessary or even a threat to democracy. The truth and reality of the matter is that citizen poll watchers are a key component in protecting our republic. In Virginia, where I serve as president of the Virginia Institute for Public Policy, election integrity advocates and leaders gathered to analyze the election systems in our state. We began to coalesce in 2021 into local task forces led by citizen volunteers and we formed the Virginia Fair Elections Coalition, the VFE, which I chair. The coalition began meeting weekly in 2021 and continues today as we recruit, train, and deploy concerned citizens from across the Commonwealth of Virginia to become involved as volunteer election observers and leaders, not just at election time, but year in and year out. Virginia's election system has, has been upended by so-called reforms, where we now have 45 days of early voting, no voter identification, same-day registration, and a constant push for unsupervised voting by mail. It is not a system that inspires confidence in the integrity of the outcome. But VFE's members determined that we were not going to whine over what had happened with the changes in our laws, and we would do whatever we could to protect the integrity of the election in spite of the laws that took away transparency in our election processes. We focused on recruiting, training, and deploying poll observers to cover as many shifts as possible, beginning with the first day of early voting in September 2021. We trained approximately 4,500 volunteers who covered an unprecedented 85% of the 14,000 shifts necessary for a 45-day election season. What did those observers do? They observed, they worked, they watched, they documented, and they saw in issues and problems that they helped to resolve, both before and after voting began. For example, one local task force noticed boxes of returned mail at the local election office and asked what it was. They were informed by the registrar's office that these were letters sent out by the registrar to voters at their registration address that had been returned undeliverable. Those volunteers came back to the VFE weekly call, reported what they had found, and asked what is supposed to be done with, these, with those undeliverable addresses. Our Virginia elections law expert, a former state electoral board member, advised that that information is required by state law to be entered into the voter database, and a voter whose letter is returned undeliverable becomes inactive and must take action in order to cast a vote. The volunteers returned to the registrar's office armed with the statute and informed the registrar what the law required. The registrar said he had no idea about this law and immediately instructed the staff to start entering the information into the voter database as the statute required. Our motto is be right, be polite. 
Our goal is to assist election administrators in complying with state law and to do so in a congenial and cooperative manner. And we have found that many times failure to adhere to the law is not nefarious or intentional, but is a result of innocent mistakes or failure to be aware of statutory requirements. We are frequently thanked for bringing these oversights to officials' attention. In 2022, if I can ask you just to, to keep your remarks tight here, maybe just a quick wrap up of your remarks and the, the full remarks will be submitted to the record. I will be happy to do that. Um, we, would, we simply believe that citizen observers belong in the election offices as recognized by the laws of virtually every state. Our mission is to keep, um, is to uh, the greatest challenge is the loss of confidence in our, elect in our election system by the people of this country. Thank you for this opportunity to speak with you today, and I'm happy to answer any questions.